This is SEMA Central. I'm Kevin Oste, joined by one of the busiest guys here at the SEMA show, Mr. David Freiberger. David, good to see you, buddy. Kevin, good to see you, too. It's been a while. It has been a while. Yeah, we caught up last year, but I don't think anybody here knows we used to work together. That's right. You yeah. know, in, in our previous, my previous life, your, your kind of latest evolution of your life. Yeah, and I've been stuck 25 years at the company now. 20? I'd say stuck. It's been a great experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you haven't departed, you know, and, and gone away. So that's pretty amazing, 25 years in today's climate. This is my 21st SEMA show. Oh, really? Blows my mind. I'm pushing 30. Yeah. I think it's almost 30, which is crazy to me. I thought you were pushing yeah. 30 in age. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, no, it's worse than that. The thing that's crazy, actually, is how much life has changed for me. You know, I started out as a staff editor on Hot Rod, I've been the editor of Hot Rod Car Craft, Four Wheel and Off Road, Rod and Custom, and now I don't touch magazines, I do video shows, again with the same company. It's incredible to think that knowing when you and I worked together, you were the print guy. Yeah. You know, and nobody would yeah. have envisioned that you would have made that evolution. And you were way ahead of us on doing the video thing online. <laughs> well. Yeah. Uh, you know, I try, and the, the thing that's amazing is you're demonstrating what you can do when you have some solid resources and that editorial mindset and uh, ability to generate killer content. Yeah, just thank you. Go, you know. Uh, are you aware that we've recently entered in a joint venture with Discovery? I've so. heard a bit about it. Maybe you can clarify how all this works, because there's a lot of questions. Oh, I'm sure there are. So we're the Enthusiast Network, which is what many people know as a magazine company, but we in fact have you know, the largest automotive websites and we have a huge social media footprint. And on the video and digital side of it, we're in this joint venture with Discovery Communications and it collectively makes us the single largest automotive media outlet, period. I mean, it's enormous. And we're just getting to know each other, just starting to work some things out, but it's gonna be pretty incredible. It is incredible. And I saw last night, uh, so as we shoot this, this is day, Two of SEMA, I believe. Feels like four. Yeah, sure. yeah. Well, depending on how long you've been here, but I, I saw a live uh, uh, recap on Velocity, mm -hmm. uh, which was kind of an even split between their shows and and ten shows. Right, and the stuff that we do purely online. You know, I think that they're seeing that there is a big future of video online. Oh, without a doubt. You yeah. Know, as, as, as individuals get better bandwidth and the uh, production resources become more available. But what's not readily available is good stuff. Well, we try and deliver that. <laughs> you know, I do that roadkill show, which is me and Mike Finnegan just basically doing stupid adventures out there. And it's got the advantage of reach. We're averaging three and a half million views per episode. And we've got sponsors on that like Dodge, which is huge. They just want the branding. But then I think it's important that we also do an Engine Masters show, which is much more technical, hands-on, uh, much more oriented to the companies that are here exhibiting at SEMA. Yeah. Well, it's interesting that you're kind of taking a lot of the print ideas and, and making them animated and video. Are we uh, uh, still investing and in working on the print side too? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I know you're not as much. I am not personally in, as involved in it. You know, I get involved when there's big decisions or when there's opinions that I need to be like a tiebreaker. But uh, yeah, I'm not as fiddling around with print as I used to be by a long, long shot. I do events though, and we've got some amazing stuff coming up there. I know we spoke with Alana earlier and the Roadkill brand became a magazine a while back. So. Which is nuts that you would start with a YouTube show. Well, actually it started out as a show on HotRod.com, yeah. became a YouTube show, and now it's an event series and a magazine and all of that. What's your uh, most fun event that you guys do? Roadkill Nights is a deal that we do in Pontiac, Michigan in August, and it's we shut down Woodward Avenue and we street race on Woodward Avenue. And this year, I think we had 50,000 people show up for it. That's incredible. Yeah, it's really awesome. It is a great time. Yeah, so the scary part is, again, looking back to the time when you and I worked together at the same company and to see where you're at now, the scary thing is what's gonna happen going forward. Oh, the things that are going on in the media is mind blowing how fast it's changing and how much you have to keep up with it. Just in the social media end of it, all of the new tools that are available for tracking it and the business that you can do. And remember when Facebook was like, oh yeah, that's the thing that all the kids are doing? It's now all the thing that all the old guys are doing. Right. And everything else is on Instagram or you know, other yeah. outlets. Yeah, or the 10 more that popped up during this conversation. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you gotta keep up with it or you become a dinosaur. And I think we're doing a good job keeping up. You've done a heck of a job of embracing the internet because I remember in the old days you were like, 
Oh, good story. I, you might what? not even know this. You are the first guy who ever showed me the internet. You're kidding me. True story. We were at our <laughs> office on Wilshire Boulevard, yeah. and you were down in that sales pen, like on the second or third, the second or third yeah. floor or something. And I remember how you described it to me. You said, "Imagine it's like every book ever published, the pages of it are there on the internet." And I was like, "Wow, that's." Okay, crazy. And you literally showed it to me. You're the first guy who ever showed me the internet. Wow, well, that's, uh, yep. that's kind of spooky. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, it, it seems to have worked for you. Yeah, it you seems figured to have it worked out. out. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know if anybody will ever figure it out, but you were certainly on top of our game. Well, there you go. Yeah. Congratulations on everything, man. It's awesome to see. Thanks very much. Thanks for joining us at SEMA Central. I'm Kevin Osteen, Vegas 2017 SEMA Show with David Freiberger.